Now it's time to export the feature definitions and the feature symbologies in the current state they are imported so that we can complete them in a bulk editing environment with Microsoft Excel. And so to do this it doesn't matter which order whether you do symbologies first or definitions first. I'm just going to right click on symbologies and select export and then I'm going to put these in the same path that I'm working in with my feature definitions. I'll just call this symbologies export and, and export that file. Do the same thing with feature definitions. Right click, export, and save that. And so and if we go back to our folder structure, we will now have two XML files that represent the current state of our feature definitions and our feature symbologies. This is a good time now to begin to discuss merging in some things from the delivered training and examples workspace environment to our personalized environment. For example, Surface templates. There's just a couple of those that need to be created for your environment. Why not use the ones already done in the delivered training and examples workspace? Same scenario with corridor feature definitions or the surf super elevation feature definitions. These did not exist in Select Series 4, so there's no direct conversion for those. And so what I would propose in this situation is to make a copy up here from the training Imperial folder structure of the feature definitions that are delivered. And this includes the element templates and levels as well. But the main focus here is to open this file and then export out the symbologies and the features that are delivered with the product knowing that we may be able to use some of that information to complete our Excel spreadsheets. So following the same process to export the symbologies and the definitions from the delivered DGN library, we will right click and export these symbologies and I'm going to give these a slightly different name. We'll just put delivered on the end of this so that we will know that that was provided as part of the installed workspace. So there's our symbologies and then our feature definitions. And we'll save that. And this way we'll be able to merge information between Excel spreadsheets as necessary. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.